another project that we're going to do for the cauldron is we're going to make those uh, fake fire embers underneath the cauldron by using a string of red lights and these plastic containers cut in half just to kind of open them up because we're going to put great stuff over the whole thing and uh, so little peaks of it will show through when they're protected in the plastic. Now I have a big one in the center um, that I'm modifying the whole design that I've seen other people do is I got the big one I'm going to hot glue down as well as the others but I cut a hole in the cardboard in the center and I'm going to put a fire and ice light underneath but I want to be able to take that out I don't want that permanently in there I don't care about the the cheap light uh, the red light string but I want the fire and ice light to be able to come out so I cut a hole I'm going to hot glue the plastic container over it uh, with a hole in the plastic so I can slip the light underneath from the bottom and then um, have it shine during Halloween and then I can take it out when I'm done. So the lights will be down there uh, for good but the fire and ice light will be able to be removed from the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and hot glue all this down then I'm going to spritz the gray stuff all over it and then we'll show you Hopefully it works. I haven't tried this yet. I've seen people do it on Pinterest and Halloween forum and I'm going to try this and hopefully it'll, it'll work. I had the waffle balls but it seemed a shame to cut these up and even put them down. Um, these could be used for something else. So I did buy them for this purpose but then I had a bunch of these water bottles and I thought eh, it's probably going to be the same effect. So I'm going to give this a shot and then we'll see how it works. Okay, so I'm going to do two foam spray projects at once. Here's our big cauldron, our second cauldron, that is completely dry. The clay is dry and then I put a layer of asphalt sealer on it so it's completely done and ready for paint. However, looking at this scene, you see that the cauldron is dripping for the old hag scene in the Snow White ride at Disneyland. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spray foam and I'm going to create some of these drips and ooze that's coming down the cauldron using the spray foam. At the same time, I've got my fake embers with my red lights and I'm going to spray foam over that. Hopefully I have enough in the one can. So I'm going to get those two done right now and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so there's its spray foam everywhere. A little difficult to mold with this stuff, but um, I think I got what I wanted. I didn't go crazy on this back side. Uh, just a couple of drips, but uh, the front is where people are going to see it. So I guess I'll choose the best angle. I think it looks good. It's kind of bubbling over. Like I said, this stuff is not easy to, to mold and get where I want it to go, but um, kind of got the hang of it. And then I sprayed this, so we'll have to just see it expand and hopefully it'll fill up all the, all the gaps. I don't know exactly what I was doing, but I think that was the idea. So we'll let it expand and do its thing and then check on it a little bit later. Okay, just a minute. Let me get... And here's Drake in. We are painting. I painted the black of the cauldron last night, so now we're painting the goop that's spilling over on the uh, cauldron. And the green paint that I have is not going over the black too well so that's why we're going to do white first and then we're going to do black. In hindsight I could have painted the cauldron black first before I did the foam. Oh well that's I've created a little extra step but that's okay. We're painting it white and then I'm going to paint it black or excuse me white and then I'm going to paint it green and then we'll be done and then the inside I haven't quite decided whether to do a green uh, to help it light up better or just paint it black and hope for the best. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. 
And so, Ronan, do you want to show them our other little project? Do you want the apple? Ooh, do you want an apple? We made the poison apple from Snow White. And this was super easy. I just took one of these fake plastic apples, and I used some hot glue, um, pink and pink dripped it over, and some of it I actually literally let it drip so it looks like real drips, and got the pattern from the movie, and then went ahead and painted the apple red and then the goop green slime. So the witch is gonna be holding it over the cauldron like this. Who's gonna be the witch? Well, we're making the witch, remember? And then that's going to be the prop for the scene. So, it's going to be pretty cool, really authentic. And then uh, in a second, I'll show you where I'm at with the witch. So here's the witch, or the old hag. I almost made it with her nose to make it all the way down, but uh, it was a little heavy. So I had to take off the very tip, and then that's... What are you doing, Ronan? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> minus the apple on her head. Um, she's almost done. I just have to make her yeah. nose down a little bit more. Does she have uh, Mickey ears on top? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the Mickey ears. You want to show everybody your tooth? He's about to lose it any second now. He's going to be a pumpkin head jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. He's so excited. So stay tuned. I'm going to get her done soon. Just have to make her nose a little bit longer. And actually, I need to get her neck a little bit more, too. And then she is done, ready for sanding and paint. All right, here she is. She is all done. I finally got the nose down to the right length. So I think this is the... I want to say fourth layer of paper mache clay and she's essentially all done and she's all dry so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to sand her up like crazy try to get her as smooth as possible and then I'm gonna put a layer of asphalt sealer on it so she is good go she's not gonna rot she's gonna keep forever and then we have the fun of painting on her skin and her eyes and and all her details so I can't wait for that part um, this has been really fun but I'm anxious to paint her up and make her look like herself and give her her wig and give her a uh, black cloak and put her on a, a PVC frame for her body so stay tuned I love her she's great so here is our finished cauldron we went ahead and finished the white and then the green pop fluorescent paint on top of the white for the goop coming out and then I just spray painted it kind of a greeny color that I had uh, that bonded to plastic good so that it wasn't dark in there and certainly wasn't blue so that when we put the glow sticks down in there and some water to bubble it'll look the right color if I sprayed it black then the light wouldn't show as much so we're gonna test this hopefully later today and see how it looks like in the dark I don't have any glow sticks. Oh, wait, I think I do. I think I do have some glow sticks. We will try that and see how it lights up. But I also want to try this uh, bubbler that I've got to see if the effect will work. But all the same, there's our final cauldron for the old hag, the evil hag in Snow White, when she uh, makes her poison apple. Okay, she's coming along. I apologize for the light. It's late at night, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick little look of it. Um, she's looking pretty cool. Got all her colors on there. You can kind of see the color match right there. I think it's pretty close. I'll uh, video it in better light tomorrow, but I just want to give you guys a quick little update. Um, all right, we'll check in soon. I don't know. Just find out for yourself. I, I mixed blue uh -huh. and red and made this. That's really pretty. Very pretty purple. No, I need it. Yeah, the boys are working on their castles. I mean, I can't spray this out. That's okay. Oh, that you know what? That's a brand new one. I'll have to open that for you. Go to the next one and I'll get that one for you. Okay. Is they made that in... Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. They made it in Cub Scouts. And now they are painting it up and, and putting details on it. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing 
as I'm working on, here's our hag. She's almost finished. I have to touch her up a little bit more and of course put her hair and her cloak on. Mommy! Just a minute. Engine. Okay, just a minute. But I've got the the cauldron in front of her and I'm trying to size her in position so I can get her frame. I'm going off this picture here to see if I can get her in proportion to the cauldron. I think you guys can see that. Yep. There's the scene in the Snow White ride. And once I get her all in position, then I can start bulking her up and draping the black over her. Okay, I thought I'd stop and show you where I'm at before I go any further. I still have to finish her face. Oh, focus, there we go. But you can see we bolt her out around the PVC frame. She's got some water bottles and this big uh, round uh, bowl uh, as a cardboard box behind her, just kind of put on there with some duct tape. And then I've got a second layer of bottles at the top just to kind of flush her out a little bit. Um, let's see. So here's my brilliant idea. So to get this look here, I couldn't find the right wig. So I'm using this white plastic tablecloth, which I think is effective from a distance. I've hot glued it on a couple spots here, just like in the picture and it's just draped down. I'll cut it later so it looks like hair at the bottom. And then I hot glued a couple pieces of um, toilet roll, toilet paper rolls. Looks hilarious, but I didn't know how else to get that kind of peak up at the top where her her cloak is kind of draped over. You see what I mean? It's like the, there's a point at the top. I'm like, how am I going to get that? And I didn't have any um, you know, squishy plastic or anything, so I'm like, okay, let me just use a toilet paper roll. And so I got that up there easy enough because that was really easy to hot glue. And then now I'm going to drape the black over her. And I have another piece of tablecloth. And I'm going to kind of do this kind of thing. You know, so it's going to be folded. And then it's just going to drape over like that. And I hot glue a couple spots and it's going to give me my look and then I'm going to go ahead and continue with the black and then get the rest of it going. So let me work on that and I will show you my progress. Okay, there she is with uh, her black draped and her hair cut and the black is just draped and with a, some scotch tape attached to it so it's not permanent yet. I still have to screw her PVC pieces together but you can kind of get the idea, and I just have her her poison apple duct tape to the arm there because we don't have the hands done yet, but this is kind of what we're going for, and I think it's pretty close. What do you guys think? Do you like it? She's positioned right. I gotta paint those, those uh, blocks that I made for the cauldron to be propped up. But the uh, plastic actually turned out better than I thought. Her hair looks fine. And then uh, it's actually draped with the bottles. And it's pretty convincing, even from the back. She's all like bulked out. So she looks real. And they can only see the front of her anyway, but if they happen to catch the back, then uh, they'll see it pretty pretty close to what it's you know would would look like for reals I think I liked it I'll have to come out here and show the boys they were working on their castles and then they here's a castle here and oh this one has glitter here I'll show you guys just for fun and there's Draken's looks pretty cool but uh, they're working on that and then they was helping me with uh, choosing the PVC parts and then here's our Here's our other work, our other project, the old hag. Anyway, there she is. Tell me if you like her. She's almost done. Now we just have to work on the hands. Yeah, looks pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, it's kind of dirty. Looks like a dirty. What did you say it looked like? 
Dirty. Dirty? What else? Muddy. A bunch of worms. Bunch of worms. It does look like a bunch of worms. Okay, well, we finished spray painting it. Um, we're going to test out some lights. So, before we videoed this, I plugged in the lights that I had on there. I swear I tested it and they worked. Of course, now when I plug them in, they don't work. So, that was a bust. But it's a good thing that I had the big one in the center because what I did was I put the fire and ice light in there and it does work really well. And so I thought, well, maybe if I put two in there and angle them in two different directions will we'll have the effect. So I haven't tested it yet. So the boys are here now to test it. Okay, you guys ready? This is what we need to do. Here's one. Actually, Ronan, can you plug it in? Can you connect these two together? Okay. And then we're going to plug it in. Okay. okay. Yep. There you go. Okay, there's one. Okay, now don't step on it, okay, because it's just foam. Okay, now I'm going to plug the other one in. Okay. This one can just go straight into the light fixture. Okay, now I need someone to turn off the lights. So that would be me, but I'm trying to get... No! Okay, okay. Let's see. Okay, don't step on it now, because you're going to break it. That looks pretty good. It you can you can oh look it's shining up on the the pumpkin. Um, so it's actually coming through pretty good. I don't know. I think that's okay. I wish it was uh, a little bit more around it, but that doesn't look that doesn't look bad. Um, it would have been better if the lights worked because then it would shine up into these spots on the outside but um, <clears throat> I guess worst case scenario I can cut holes at the bottom and put another string of lights in there and just tape it from the bottom because it's just cardboard but that that actually doesn't look half bad and uh, we can still use it it's not a total bust but yeah that string of lights of course just broke and doesn't work anymore so we'll have to make do but I kind of like I kind of like that because then it's shining outward too. Um, we'll, we'll have to see what that looks like. Yeah, so it's shooting it out because it's not completely covered with the foam. I don't think anyone can tell it's a soda bottle too, so that'll work. But um, okay, well that's that's good enough. Well, maybe get another string of lights and stick it on, on from underneath. But um, it definitely play, works. Okay. All right. Can someone turn the light back on? Um, I can't because I can't even see. <coughs> well, oh. Ronan can probably get it. Because I can't find my back couple. It's okay. Still, I might hit something. That's all right. Turn the lights back on. Okay. There you go. Then you guys can see it in the light. So yeah. it works. Yeah, 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 yeah.